CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Science for class 7 entitled Science This is lesson 9 Soil from page 96 to page 107 Let's listen to the lesson 9 Soil Page 96 Soil is one of the most important natural resources. It provides anchorage to the plants and supplies water and nutrients. It is the home for many organisms. Soil is essential for agriculture. Agriculture provides food, clothing and shelter for all. Soil is thus an inseparable part of our life. The earthy fragrance of soil after the first rain is always refreshing. Figure 9.1 Children playing with soil In this picture, there are three children, two girls and one boy. They are playing with soil. 9.1 Soil Teeming with Life One day during the rainy season, Paheli and Bojo observed an earthworm coming out of the soil. Paheli wondered whether there were other organisms also in the soil. Let us find out. Activity 9.1 Collect some soil samples and observe them carefully. You can use a hand lens. Examine each sample carefully and fill in Table 9.1. Table 9.1 In this table, there are 5 columns and 5 rows. The first column has serial number. The second column has soil source. The third column has plants. The fourth column has animals. And the fifth column has any other observations. 1. The soil source is garden soil. In the plant section, we have grass, comma, blank. In the animal section, we have ant, comma, blank. 2. Soil from the roadside. You have to fill in the other columns. 3. Soil from the area where construction is going on. You have to fill in the other columns. You also have to fill in the rows 4 and 5. 1. Discuss your observations with your friends. 2. Are the soil samples collected by your friends similar to the ones collected by you? Bojo and Paheli have used soil in many ways. They enjoy playing with it. It is a great fun indeed. Make a list of the uses of soil. Page 97 There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli is next to it. I wonder why I found some pieces of plastic articles and polythene bags in the soil sample collected from the roadside and the garden. Polythene bags and plastics pollute the soil. They also kill the organisms living in the soil. That is why there is a demand to ban the polythene bags and plastics. Other substances which pollute the soil are a number of waste products, chemicals and pesticides. Waste products and chemicals should be treated before they are released into the soil. The use of pesticides should be minimized.
there's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. I have seen pots and toys made up of soil in heart or bazaar. 9.2 Soil Profile Soil is composed of distinct layers. Perform the following activity to find out how these layers are arranged. Activity 9.2 Take a little soil. Break the clumps with your hand to powder it. Now take a glass tumbler, three quarters filled with water and then add a handful of soil to it. Stir it well with a stick to dissolve the soil. Now let it stand undisturbed for some time. You can observe this in figure 9.2. Afterwards, observe it and answer the following questions. Figure 9.2 Layers of Soil In this figure, we can observe a glass. Within the glass, there is soil. The soil has multiple layers. The first layer from bottom is gravel. The second is sand. The third is clay. The fourth is water. The fifth is humus. 1. Do you see layers of particles of different sizes in the glass tumbler? 2. Draw a diagram showing these layers. 3. Are there some dead rotting leaves or animal remains floating on water? The rotting dead matter in the soil is called humus. You probably know that the soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks by the action of wind, water and climate. This process is called weathering. The nature of any soil depends upon the rocks from which it has been formed and the type of vegetation that grows in it. A vertical section through different layers of the soil is called the soil profile. Each layer differs in feel or texture, color, depth and chemical compositions. These layers are referred to as horizons. You can observe them in figure 9.3. Page 98 Figure 9.3 Soil Profile In this figure, we can observe the soil profile. At the bottom is bedrock. Above that is C horizon. Above that is B horizon. And at the top is A horizon. We usually see the top surface of the soil, not the layers below it. If we look at the sides of a recently dug ditch, we can see the inner layers of the soil too. Such a view enables us to observe the soil profile at that place. Soil profile can also be seen while digging a well or laying the foundation of a building. It can also be seen at the sides of a road on a hill or at a steep river bank. The uppermost horizon is generally dark in colour as it is rich in humus and minerals. The humus makes the soil fertile and provides nutrients to growing plants. This layer is generally soft, porous and can retain more water. It is called the topsoil or the A horizon. This provides shelter for many living organisms such as worms, rodents, moles and beetles. The roots of small plants are embedded entirely in the topsoil. The next layer has a lesser amount of humus, but more of minerals. This layer is generally harder and 
more compact and is called the B horizon or the middle layer. The third layer is the C horizon, which is made up of small lumps of rocks with cracks and crevices. Below this layer is the bedrock, which is hard and difficult to dig with a spade. Page 99 9.3 Soil Types As you know, weathering of rocks produces small particles of various materials. These include sand and clay. The relative amount of sand and clay depends upon the rock from which the particles were formed, that is, the parent rock. The mixture of rock particles and humus is called the soil. Living organisms such as bacteria, plant roots and earthworm are also important parts of any soil. The soil is classified on the basis of the proportion of particles of various sizes. If soil contains greater proportion of big particles, it is called sandy soil. If the proportion of fine particles is relatively higher, then it is called clay soil. If the amount of large and fine particles is about the same, then the soil is called loamy. Thus, the soil can be classified as sandy, clay and loamy. The size of the particles in a soil has an influence on its properties. Sand particles are quite large. They cannot fit close together. So, there are large spaces between them. These spaces are filled with air. We say that the sand is well aerated. Water can drain quickly through the spaces between the sand particles. So, sandy soils tend to be light, well aerated and rather dry. Clay particles, being much smaller, pack tightly together, leaving little space for air. Unlike sandy soil, water can be held in the tiny gaps between the particles of clay. So, clay soils have less air. But they are heavy as they hold more water than the sandy soils. The best topsoil for growing plants is loam. Loamy soil is a mixture of sand, clay and another type of soil particle known as silt. Silt occurs as a deposit in river beds. The size of the silt particles is between those of sand and clay. The loamy soil also has humus in it. It has the right water holding capacity for the growth of plants. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. I want to know what kind of soil should be used for making earthen pots, which are matkas and surahis. Activity 9.3 Collect samples of clay, loamy and sandy soils. Take a fistful of soil from one of the samples. Remove any pebbles, rocks or grass blades from it. Now add water drop by drop and knead the soil. You can observe this in figure 9.4a. Add just enough water so that a ball can be made from it. But at the same time, it should not be sticky. You can observe this in figure 9.4b. Try to make a ball from this soil. You can observe this in figure 9.4c. On a flat surface, roll this ball into a cylinder. You can observe this in figure 9.4d. Try to make a ring from this cylinder. You can observe this in figure 9.4e. Repeat this activity with other samples also. Does 
the extent to which a soil can be shaped indicate its type can you suggest which type of soil would be the best for making pots toys and statues page 100 figure 9.4 working with the soil a in this picture we can observe someone kneading the soil b we can observe the soil has taken the shape of a small mountain c here the soil has taken the shape of a ball d here the soil has taken the shape of a cylinder e finally the soil is in the shape of a ring 9.4 properties of soil you have listed some uses of soil let us perform some activities to find the characteristics of the soil percolation rate of water in soil bojo and paheli marked two different squares of 50 cm into 50 cm each one on the floor of their house and the other on the kachcha or unpaved road they filled two bottles of the same size with water they emptied the water from the bottles one each at the same time in the two squares they observed that the water on the floor flowed down and was not absorbed on the kachcha road on the other hand the water was absorbed now let us perform an activity to understand this there's a thought bubble given here a picture of bojo is next to it bojo wondered why there was a difference in the absorption of water in the two squares activity 9.4 for this activity divide yourself into three teams name the teams a b and c you will be finding out how fast the water passes down the soil you will need a hollow cylinder or a pipe and show that each team uses pipes of the same diameter some suggestions for obtaining such a pipe are given below one if possible get a small tin can and cut off its bottom two if pvc pipe approx diameter 5 cm is available cut it into 20 cm long pieces and use them at the place where you collect the soil place the pipe about 2 cm deep in the ground pour 200 ml water in the pipe slowly for measuring 200 ml water you can use any empty 200 ml bottle note the time when you start pouring water when all the water has percolated leaving the pipe empty note the time again figure 9.5 measuring rate of percolation in this figure we can observe someone pouring water in a pvc pipe page 101 be careful not to let the water spill over or run down on the outside of the pipe while pouring calculate the rate of percolation by using the following formula percolation rate measured as milliliter per minute is equal to amount of water in milliliter divided by percolation time in minutes for example suppose that for a certain sample it took 20 minutes for 200 milliliter to percolate so rate of percolation is equal to 200 milliliter divided by 20 minutes which is equal to 10 ml per minute calculate the rate of percolation in your soil sample compare your findings with others and arrange the soil samples in the increasing order of the rate of 
percolation. 9.5. Moisture in soil. Have you ever passed through a farmland during a hot summer day? Perhaps you noticed that the air above the land is shimmering. Why is it so? Try out this activity and find the answer. Activity 9.5 Take a boiling tube. Put two spoonfuls of a soil sample in it. Heat it on a flame just like in figure 9.6 and observe it. Let us find out what happens upon heating. Do you see water drops anywhere? If yes, where did you find them? On heating water in the soil evaporates, moves up and condenses on the cooler inner walls of the upper part of the boiling tube. On a hot summer day, the vapour coming out of soil reflect the sunlight and the air above the soil seems to shimmer. After heating the soil, take it out of the tube. Compare it with the soil which has not been heated. Note the difference between the two. Figure 9.6 Removing Moisture from the Soil In this figure, we can observe a test tube. Inside the test tube is a soil sample. The test tube is over a burner. It is being held with the help of a stand. The test tube is boiling. We can observe water droplets around the glass of the test tube. 9.6 Absorption of Water by Soil Do all the soils absorb water to the same extent? Let us find out. Activity 9.6 Take a plastic funnel, take a filter paper or a piece of newspaper sheet. Fold and place it as you can observe in figure 9.7. Weigh 50 gram of dry powdered soil and pour it into the funnel. Measure a certain amount of water in a measuring cylinder and pour it drop by drop on the soil. You can use a dropper for this purpose. Do not let all the water fall at one spot. Pour water all over the soil. Keep pouring water till it starts dripping. Page 102 Figure 9.7 Absorption of water in the soil In this figure, we can observe a beaker. On the top of beaker is a funnel. Over the funnel is a filter paper. Over the filter paper, water is being dropped with the help of dropper. Subtract the amount of water left in the measuring cylinder from the amount you started with. This is the amount of water retained by the soil. Record your results in your notebook in the following manner. Weight of soil is equal to 50 gram. Initial volume of water in the measuring cylinder is equal to U milliliter. Final volume of water in the measuring cylinder is equal to V milliliter. Volume of water absorbed by the soil is equal to U minus V milliliter. Weight of water absorbed by the soil is equal to U minus V gram. 1 milliliter of water has weight equal to 1 gram. Percentage of water absorbed is equal to U minus V divided by 50 multiplied by 100. Repeat this activity with different soil samples. Would you get the same results for all the samples? Discuss the results with your friends and answer the following question. 1. Which soil would have the highest percolation rate? 2. Which soil would have the lowest percolation rate? 3. 
Bojo heard from his neighbor that eight to ten days after the rain, the level of water in a pond or well rises. Which type of soil will allow water to reach a well faster and in greater amount? Four. Which type of soil retains the highest amount of water and which retains the least? Five. Can you suggest any method to let more rain water percolate and reach the water underground? Nine point seven. Soil and crops. Different types of soils are found in different parts of India. In some parts, there is clay soil in some parts there is loamy soil while in some other parts there is sandy soil soil is affected by wind rainfall temperature light and humidity these are some important climatic factors which affect the soil profile and bring changes in the soil structure the climatic factors as well as the components of soil determine the various types of vegetation and crops that might grow in any region note gram denoted by g and kilogram denoted by kg are actually units of mass a mass of 1 gram weighs 1 gram weight and a mass of 1 kilogram weighs 1 kg weight however in daily life and in commerce and industry the distinction between gram and gram weight is generally omitted page 103 clay and loamy soils are both suitable for growing cereals like wheat and gram such soils are good at retaining water for paddy soils rich in clay and organic matter and having a good capacity to retain water are ideal for lentils or masoor and other pulses loamy soils which drain water easily are required for cotton sandy loam or loam which drain water easily and can hold plenty of air are more suitable a case study john rashida and radha went to leeladhar dada and santosh malviya of sohagpur in madhya pradesh leeladhar dada was preparing the soil to make items like surahi matki kala which is earthen frying pan etc the following is the conversation they all had with leeladhar dada where was the soil obtained from dada replies we brought the black soil from a piece of barren land how is the soil prepared dada replied dry soil will be placed in a large tank and would be cleaned of pebbles etc after removing these things the soil will be soaked for around 8 hours this soil would be needed after mixing horse dung the needed soil would be placed on the wheel and given appropriate shape the final shape is given with hands the items are colored after 3 days of drying all the items are baked at high temperature after drying in the air why is the horse dung mixed in soil dada replied burnt horse dung helps open up the pores in the soil so that water could percolate out of the matkas and surahis evaporate and cools the water inside you know sohagpuri surahis and matkas are famous in far off places like jabalpur nagpur prayagraj which is erstwhile alabad etc figure 9.8 making pots here are two pictures 
In these pictures, two men are making pots. Page 104 Crops such as wheat are grown in the fine clay soils because they are rich in humus and are very fertile. Find from your teachers, parents and farmers the type of soils and crops grown in your area. Enter the data in the following table, 9.2. Which kind of soil would be most suitable for planting rice? Soil with a higher or lower rate of percolation. Table 9.2 In this table, there are three columns and three rows. In the first column, we have serial number. In the second column, we have type of soil. In the third column, we have crop grown. Row 1 The type of soil is clay. The crop grown is wheat, comma, blank. You have to fill in the blank and also the other rows. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli and a picture of Bojo are next to it. What is the difference between rate of percolation and the amount of water retained? Bojo, you seem to have forgotten what you read earlier. Go and reread the lesson again and you will find the answer. Soil erosion The removal of land surface by water, wind or ice is known as erosion. Plant roots firmly bind the soil. In the absence of plants, soil becomes loose. So, it can be moved by wind and flowing water. Erosion of soil is more severe in areas of little or no surface vegetation, such as desert or barren lands. So, cutting of trees and deforestation should be prevented and effort should be made to increase the green areas. Keywords Clay Humus Lomi Percolation Moisture Sandy Water retention What you have learned 1. Soil is important for life on the earth. 2. Soil profile is a section through different layers of the soil. Various layers are called horizons. 3. Soil is of different types. Clay, loamy and sandy. 4. Percolation rate of water is different in different types of soil. It is highest in the sandy soil and lowest in the clay soil. 5. Different types of soils are used to cultivate different types of crops. Clay and loam are suitable for growing wheat, gram and paddy. Cotton is grown in sandy loam soil. Page 105 6. Soil holds water in it, which is called soil moisture. The capacity of a soil to hold water is important for various crops. 7. Clay soil is used to make pots, toys and statues. Exercises Take the most suitable answer in questions 1 and 2. 1. In addition to the rock particles, the soil contains 1. Air and water 2. Water and plants 3. Minerals, organic matter, air and water 4. Water, air and plants 2. The water holding capacity is the highest in 1. Sandy soil 2. Clay soil 3. Loamy soil 4. Mixture of sand 
and loam. 3. Match the items in column 1 with those in column 2. Column 1 1. A home for living organisms 2. Upper layer of the soil 3. Sandy soil 4. Middle layer of the soil 5. Clay soil Column 2 A. Large particles B. All kinds of soil C. Dark in color D. Small particles and packed tight E. Lesser amount of humus 4. Explain how soil is formed. 5. How is clay soil useful for crops? 6. List the differences between clay soil and sandy soil. 7. Sketch the cross section of soil and label the various layers. 8. Razia conducted an experiment in the field related to the rate of percolation. She observed that it took 40 minutes for 200 ml of water to percolate through the soil sample. Calculate the rate of percolation. Page 106 Explain how soil pollution and soil erosion could be prevented. 10. Solve this crossword puzzle with the clues given. A cross. 2. Plantation prevents it. This is a seven letter word. 5. Use should be banned to avoid soil pollution. This is a nine letter word. 6. Type of soil used for making pottery. This is a four letter word. 7. Living organism in the soil. This is a nine letter word. Down 1. In desert, soil erosion occurs through. This is a four letter word. 3. Clay and loam are suitable for cereals like. This is a five letter word. 4. This type of soil can hold very little water. This is a five letter word. 5. Collective name for layers of soil. This is a seven letter word. Extended learning activities and projects. 1. Bojo would like to know the difference between raw and baked soil. Investigate how the soil from which matkas are made is different from the soil used to make statues. Page 107 2. Paheli is worried. She could see a brick kiln from her house. Bricks were being made there. There was so much smoke coming out of the kiln. She was told that the best quality of clay is required for making pottery, statues and bricks. She has seen truck loads of bricks being taken away for construction of buildings. At this rate, she fears no soil will be left. Are her fears justified? Discuss this problem with your parents, teachers and other experts of your area and Prepare a report. 3. Try to find out the moisture content of a soil sample. One method is given here. Activity Take 100 gram soil. Take help from any shopkeepers to weigh the soil. 
place it on a newspaper in the sun and allow it to dry for 2 hours. This activity is best done in the afternoon. Take care that the soil does not spill outside the newspaper. After drying it, weigh the soil again. The difference in the weight of the soil before and after drying gives you the amount of moisture contained in 100 gram of soil. This is called the percentage moisture content. Suppose your sample of soil loses 10 grams on drying. Then, percentage of moisture in soil is equal to weight of moisture in grams divided by original weight of soil sample in grams multiplied by 100. In this example, percent of moisture in soil is equal to 10 multiplied by 100 divided by 100, which is equal to 10%. Did you know? Rivers of North India, which flow from Himalayas, bring a variety of materials, including silt, clay, sand and gravel. They deposit their materials called alluvial soil in the plains of North India. This soil is very fertile and supports nearby half the population of India. The chapter 9 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Producer Vandana Arimardan Presented by C-I-E-T N-C-E-R-T New Delhi, India